Yo guys, Simon B1471. Quick disclaimer right at the start of this video. Number one, these are just my opinions and the footage I'm using is protected by fair use. Also, the CSGO Counter-Strike Global Offensive gameplay in the background is a representation of how shit I am at the game. So enjoy it guys, I do quite well, but let's get straight on to today's video. Yo guys, what is happening? Simon B1471 and today guys we're going to be breaking down a video I saw Drifter do or sorry I should be more accurate, a video which you guys you know was um, tweeting me on Twitter just you guys couldn't believe you know what Drifter was actually saying so I'm going to break down his video I'm going to pick apart the bullshit which he's spewing from his mouth like we see all the big YouTubers trying to do so let's get straight into it guys you know I'm going to leave my opinions aside for this time but I'm just going to play inserts of clips which he did in his video and I'm just going to basically break down all the bullshit what's coming from his mouth and give you guys reasons why um, he's saying this and really the truth behind it all so let's get on with it with clip number one you may have noticed on this channel I've been posting less and less Call of Duty content and more Overwatch and Battlefield and even Pokemon Go, and that's not only because are these new games fun for me, but the communities around the games are vastly more positive and more rewarding for me to interact with. Okay, so let's start with him just basically saying all the negativity, you know, surrounding Call of Duty, Black Ops 3 and Call of Duty in general. The negativity is there because basically, let's face it, Activision haven't made a game which us as gamers actually wanted. Yes, there may be a small minority, but the majority of the player base in Call of Duty didn't want a futuristic, you know, first-person shooter game, you know, with the Call of Duty branding, you know, people expect Call of Duty, you know, to be set in a time period which, you know, it has war-torn environments, not, you know, buzzing around on bloody spaceships or anything. But anyway, that's, you know, a, an opinion side of things. So then Drifter goes on in that clip there and he says <clears throat> that he's basically now, you know, wanting to upload Pokemon Go in Overwatch because the communities there are a lot happier and I'm like, okay, he may be right with that. However, we all know the real reason why he's doing Pokemon Go in Overwatch. That's simply because that's where the views are, you know. These big YouTubers have had, you know, been living the high life now for quite some time, you know, getting, you know, record numbers of views, you know, with Call of Duty material, Call of Duty content on their channel, I should say. And now that there's a more popular game out on YouTube, oh, look, they've turned their back on the community, which, let's face it, they've been leeching off forever and ever, you know, since the dawn of fucking time. But now they are going on Pokemon Go because they know where that's the views are. They know the views are in Overwatch, you know. Look at White Boy 7 Street. It's not just Drifty, you know, White Boy 7 Street doing, you know, Pokemon Go. Biblical Reaper doing Pokemon Go. And then even Chaos X Silence are doing Pokemon Go. And the funny thing with Chaos X Silencer is he's doing videos about Pokemon Go and the people leaving comments on Chaos X Silencer's videos are brilliant because Chaos X Silencer has no idea what to do on Pokemon Go. <laughs> and he's uploading videos, you know, teaching people how to, you know, earn stuff quicker in that. And I just think it's fucking hilarious, you know, all these Call of Duty YouTubers like White Boy 7 Street, for example, you know, make Call of Duty great again. Oh, look, <laughs> as soon as a popular game comes out so he can make, well, get more views, make more money on YouTube, he's straight off, you know, like Drifter, Chaos Six Silencer, Biblical Reaper, I'm sure there's others out there, guys. But yeah, Drifter actually says in that little part of the video that the top, well, the community is toxic. Well, you wonder why the community is toxic. You've got one half of the community who are just, you know, children who don't know any better, you know, just through, you know, life experience. You know, they're not stupid. They're just kids at the end of the day. You know, when I was a kid, you know, I pretty much believed everything I, you know, saw on the internet. Well, the internet wasn't around when I was a kid. But you know what I'm trying to say, guys. Okay, I was very gullible and people could kind of pull the wool over my eyes. And that's what basically you've got half of the Call of Duty community now who are, you know, under that kind of, um, they kind of kids and the gullible, let's put it that way, okay. But then you've got the other half of the community, which I'm part of, and that's the community who are extremely frustrated because, let's face it, Activision haven't been doing what the, you know, community have wanted, okay. Activision have been putting supply drops in the game, making futuristic games because they can make supply drop content much easier and much more appealing to the younger fans, you know, who are willing to, you know, spend money on their mum or dad's credit card, you know, they don't understand the real value of money. Now, this is where I've got a problem with Drifter and all the other big YouTubers. 
they have always been pro Activision, okay? So now that they're actually starting to get some hate, the big YouTubers themselves, they're not liking it, you know? They are starting to complain, you know, because their videos are getting loads and loads of dislikes, which they are not used to. And that is basically the community fighting back. So a big thank you, you know, to the community who have said enough is enough, you know? I'm not going to sit here, watch a pro Activision channel who are, you know, somebody like Drifter, for example, who has NDA, so therefore he has a working ag arrangement, agreements with them, you know, he has an affiliation with Activision, and if you guys think I'm, you know, going over the top here, okay, there's a link in the description to one of Drifter's videos, and it is the most cringeworthy video I have ever seen on YouTube, and that is Black Ops 3, an honest review. It is the most biased, one-sided video you have ever seen on YouTube. I don't know where Drifter starts and David Von Der Haar begins. It's like they've become twins, you know, congealed twins, like they're sewn together, you know, like... It's, it, it's just ridiculous, guys. You know, people have had enough of the likes of Chaos Six Silence, of Biblical Reaper, um, T. Martin. You know, people have had enough of the Activision cocksuckers, as they call them. Um, and I think that it's about time that they felt some of the wrath. And Drift is, a, <laughs> Drift is excuse of him saying, oh, oh, well, I'm starting to do more Pokemon Go now and more Overwatch just because the community is so toxic. Well, you've kind of contributed towards that, Drifter, you know? People are sick and tired of, let's face it, I'm a real gamer. You guys watching these videos, you're the real gamers. Drifter isn't a real gamer. Yeah, he might like video games, but he doesn't do it now and he's not... Po well, he doesn't do it for fun or enjoyment. He does it because it's his job and he has basically said... I'm not going to do what my fans want, I'm going to do what Activision want, because if I'm not pro Activision, I'm not going to get all these extra opportunities to go and record early gameplay and get access to things what other smaller YouTubers can't. And Drifter, all I'm going to say to you, Karma is a bitch, isn't it? Karma is a bitch. And now you're getting hate for being a pro Activision channel, and I can see, you know, through your crystal clear what you've been doing along with Chaos X Silencer and the rest. You know, it's about time that Karma struck, and I'm glad it finally has. So let's look at another part of the video, guys, now. And remember, as always, leave your comments in the comments section and let me know how you feel about that Drifter video. So let's go on to clip number two. The Call of Duty community is overwhelmingly negative in almost every medium in which it exists. Not only on YouTube and YouTube comments, but if you go to Twitch, it's rough there. If you get on any of the official COD subreddits, it's very rough there as well. A lot of complaining about the same post. I see the same shit post over and over and over all the time. The official COD forums is nothing but complaining. Even on Twitter, it's really, really... Now he goes on and cries about the Call of Duty community being so negative and everything, yet... Why do you think we like this, Drifter? Because no big YouTuber has actually stood up for the real fucking gamers. All they've been standing up for, Drifter, likes it yourself, Chaos Six Silence, a Biblical Reaper and the fucking rest of you, is because you have been pro Activision. You've not been doing what the real fucking gamers wanted. The real gamers didn't want supply drops. Did you all condemn them when they said, you know, they was going to put weapons in supply drops and it was not going to be, you know, cosmetic items only? No, you did not. I'm here as one of the real gamers, because obviously I've got a real job, you know, I make about 30, 40 quid a month on YouTube. I'm here as one of the real gamers now, doing a response to your bullshit video, because me, I come home I, after a hard day's work, what do I want to do? I want to chill out, I want to spend a bit of time, you know, on my PC or my PS4 or my Xbox One or whatever, and I want to play some Call of Duty, but now I can't because, let's face it, you know, to get all the content in the game, you've got to spend about a thousand pounds to make sure you get all the fucking DLC weapons, you know, water in supply drops, you wonder why people are pissed off, Drifty, you really wonder, and it's surprised why people are pissed off. You know, you guys clearly stick up for Activision all the fucking time. It isn't just the odd occasion you stick up for them. You stick up for them all the time. And you don't stick up for the real fucking gamers, let's face it. And it's the real gamers who have made you in the position now where you don't have to go to work. You've got loads of money. You can buy your fucking Tesla fucking car or whatever. We as gamers put you in that position and you turned your back on us, the gamers... And therefore, sided with Activision. And you wonder why there's fucking hate and there's people, you know, well, for the well, for the lack of a better term, be begging for blood. You know, people want blood. People want blood because they're sick of the bullshit. Yet yeah, none of the big YouTubers, none of the big Call of Duty YouTubers, I, I should say, because none of this shit had happened in, you know, Battlefield or anything like that. There'd be a fucking uproar. You know, 
You wonder why people are pissed off. I'm pissed off just doing this commentary, listening to you whine on. Whine on like a little fucking girl. You know, going, oh, I'm fucking, all the negativity, all the negativity. You wonder why, Drifter, because you and all the rest of you are fucking sellouts. Anyway, let's get on to another clip. Content. Nobody wants the space warfare game. And you know, there are things to be angry and mad about, but they bleed over into literally everything else that's going on in personal attacks or whatever. As a matter of fact, I know a person that you would probably call a top 10 Call of Duty YouTuber who is seriously considering quitting, just like rage quitting the entire community and going straight Battlefield or straight just some other like Counter-Strike or some other game because they're so sick of seeing all this crap in their inbox every single day. So a top 10 Call of Duty, as Drifter says it, YouTuber is going to quit Call of Duty. Well, congratulations. Fuck off. At the end of the day, you know, they're all moaning now. All the big YouTubers are moaning about all the hate they're getting. And I'm fine with it, you know. It kind of, you know, restores some faith in the Call of Duty community. You know, I, I'm obviously saying that it's full of a lot of children now. But I think that... Some people are now actually starting to see the truth, you know, with the growth of, you know, one of the call and eight thoughts, you know, and other, you know, channels growing very quickly, which I'm very happy for because they're actually kind of counteracting all the pro Activision nonsense we see all the time. And the only reason, you know, a big top 10 Call of Duty channel had ever quit Call of Duty, and that's because the views are dropping off Call of Duty now. I'm sure he'll probably go and play Pokemon Go, you know, like White Boy, a 37-year-old walking around the streets of fucking downtown fucking LA or wherever, you know, trying to catch them all. You know, I think it's quite frankly sad and pathetic that a 37 year old bloke is doing that. You know, he's only doing it for the views, guys. Come on, we all know that. We're all adults here. And people who hate on Call of Duty, surprisingly, are the ones that play this game the most. I can guarantee you, the people, the YouTube channels out there, and the people in the comments that talk about how much COD is the biggest, most donkey dong suckingest game on the planet, are the ones putting in way more hours than the people that play just a little bit, just casually, and it's very unfortunate. And what's bad about this is not only does it make your experience more fun, less fun, but it hurts new player experiences. So when a new person, let's say the next generation of Call of Duty players, or uh, not even... I'm sorry guys, I had to cut that clip off there because I am actually feeling quite physically sick. <coughs> you know, the amount of bullshit what's coming out of that guy's mouth is absolutely unbelievable. You know, it's like Drifter. He's trying to be Drifter, Master Manipulator, the puppet string puller of young children. You know, it's just... I've been watching this video, guys, like now, four minutes since I did a last insert on here, and it's just waffle, 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 manipulation, manipulation, manipulation. Try saying that when you're drunk, by the way. But he goes on here saying, right, okay, the majority of the Call of Duty channels who actually hate this game are people who's uploading, you know, and talking about and playing Black Ops 3. Well, Drifter, you haven't got me on that one, you son of a bitch, because I haven't uploaded Black Ops 3 since I run over the disc in my fucking car. And if you guys are actually interested about seeing me run over Black Ops 3 with my car, there's a video link in the description. So, Drifter, he goes on yet again on that little clip there saying so that Call of Duty YouTubers who, you know, play the game casually are some of the people criticising the game. Well, okay, I can understand, you know, what he's saying there. Um, however, how would us Call of Duty YouTubers be able to criticise the game if we didn't play it? You know, I still criticise it based on, you know, my past experiences, but if anything new has happened since, I'm relying on you guys actually telling me, you know, what the fuck is going on, because I don't know, because I haven't, you know, played it since I did that video. I don't know when the video was dated, but it was... God, it, it, it must have been February, March time, something like that, but I could be wrong. Um, and ever since, you know, my YouTube channel hasn't grown as fast as what it was previously because I'm not putting that gameplay in the background. But I've took the moral decision to stop playing the game and stop using it for, you know, my gameplay I upload in the background. You know, you get a wide variety of gameplay in the background now. Just whatever, you know, I feel like uploading and you guys are kind enough to, you know, still support my channel um, and, you know, continue watching and, you know, clicking the like button and stuff. So that's amazing. So I think this is pretty much where I've got to leave it for this video because it's getting quite a long video now and I don't really want to make it any longer than probably 15 minutes. Um, I may do a follow-up to this video. So if you guys have enjoyed this kind of video where I'm picking apart or whatever um, Drifter's video, let me know. Um, See so if this video gets enough likes. I'll happily, you know, continue, you know, reviewing other YouTubers' videos, you know, picking apart the bullshit, what they're doing. 
So yeah, thanks for your support as always, guys. I really appreciate it. If you're new here, hit subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. If you've not, fair enough. Goodbye for now, guys. Have a great week. Game.